You were right. And I can't wait to replay that as my ringtone for the rest of our relationship. <laughs> you know, like have like a, 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 like a remix to it? Yeah, just just on, uh, just on repeat. You were right. You were right. You were right. You were right. You yeah, were that'll right. actually be our new theme song. Yeah. Na, 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 na. You were right. Let's go home. Welcome back to Watson 9. We're married. <laughs> Show the people, babe. This thing has been holding my hand down like a, like a rock. It's just so crazy that I've been wearing a ring for over a year and now he's married. He's married. He's married. I just feel like I'm not gonna be able to get it off fast enough if a hot girl comes by. I know, it's gonna be so crazy. It's like I told small. you, the trick is what you have to do is you have to think about the coldest place you've ever been so that your body just goes and then your joints get all smaller and the and blood- you can take it off really you quickly? You can take it off when the hot person walks by. I feel like you've tried, you've tried this before. Guys, this is the biggest week of anyone's lives. Anyone's lives. And Jeremy has been asleep for three full days. I think we're, we all know what we're here to talk about. And what's that? After 15 seasons with the University of Kentucky Wildcats, John Calipari is no longer going to be the head coach of the basketball it's team next year. It's not about Punxsutawney Phil because someone someone from that area that Punxsutawney Phil was from was like, let's go Punxsutawney Phil. No. Be a new father. No, 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 no. He's heading to Arkansas mm. and we don't know who the next coach is going to be. Don't care. We're married and I'm so excited to talk about the wedding. I have been on the couch in... Jeremy has been horizontal for over 72 hours. You wanna know what unmedicated Jeremy looks like? You're looking at him. It's it's pretty crazy. I am, I, I just, I'm, a, I'm at one, I'm at peace. Mm -hmm. I'm at peace. Cause all that planning that you put in really just <laughs> knocked it out of you. Took it out of me toward <laughs> the end there, eh? Huh? Oh, don't you know? I, um, I, it was, a, it was a photo finish for a lot of things for me. Yeah. It was. Yep. And it was 100% my own doing. Yep. And I'm thrilled with how everything happened. Yep. Shall we get into it? Shall we get into it? Take us away. Do we, do we start with just, we just dive right into bingo, into the wedding day bingo card that we put together last week. Hey, we dive right into the champagne. Oh yeah, okay, let's do that. Yeah. Great, go producer, ahead. Producer show has brought, because we, we, we didn't drink enough. We didn't have enough sweets. <laughs> and uh, I have been eating nothing but all of the food. You've foods. been instigating. Oh my God, the last three days, because I was like eating things that weren't gonna make me blow and feel shitty and like have a puffy face. So I was eating so clean for like the week leading up to everything. I had McDonald's at one o'clock in the morning before our wedding. Yeah, you did. Uh, that's pretty crazy. The way that, uh, just the male body. Anyways, so the last three days <laughs> post wedding, I have been eating like a little trash panda. Oh my God. I had um, Panda Express for dinner last night. I haven't had it in so long. It was, Panda Express is truly my my like go-to. It's like, if, you, if something really, really good happens, Panda Express. If something really, really bad happens, Panda Express. Um, and so anyways. Which one was this? Which one is this what? What happened? This one is something really, really good happened. There we we go. got married. And so anyways, I got to eat my Pan Express last night and it was just as good as I remembered. It was so delicious. And then we had uh, John and Vinny's spicy vodka pasta with my parents the first night after the wedding. Uh, tonight, I basically had like a, a fancy butter nude on steroids. <sighs> all the dairy, all of the sodium. Show, do you want a glass of champagne? Yeah, sure. <laughs> also, I just texted you a picture of what Diggy looks like right now. You have to look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. Those pillowcases are brand new and fresh and clean. <laughs> Don't worry, Diggo. He's still there. <laughs> He's sitting. Literally, his butthole is directly on, like split, split in the middle between the two pillows. It's perfect. It's perfect. Cheers. In, in the words of Bachelor Joey, tink. That's so good. Oh my God, what is this? Jacques? Oh, Jacques. <laughs> I'm a fan. Oh, Jacques, you dirty oh. bitch. I love that. Okay, where Oof. do we even start? We got married. Where do we, should we start with the welcome party? I think, I think we do a quick recap of the welcome party and then we dive into bingo because I feel like stories will unfold as we go through bingo. I love this idea. Okay, great. 
Welcome party um, was at um, the cutest little venue that was like a private space that had two bowling lanes and a full bar. It was it was so cute inside that we didn't have to do a single piece of decor, which was one of my favorite parts. We did a we did a little family dinner beforehand and then had all of the guests come um, for drinkies and desserts which slapped, but it was like the perfect size venue. Cause I feel like if you do a venue that's too big and there's not enough people, it feels awkward and empty and quiet. And then obviously if the venue is too small, then it's like hot and sweaty and sticky and too loud. Right, then it gives high school prom. Yeah, but it was it was just so great. I forget who, who recommended, um, like highly recommended doing a welcome party just to like have all of those introductory conversations before the actual wedding day. So then the wedding day can be about the wedding. Right. So all of like the, how are you? Thank you so much for traveling in, da, 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 da. Like so great to meet your significant other finally. I heard so much about you. Well, we didn't have a ton of that though. No, no, no. But I mean, there were some friends of yours that live in other cities that I'd never even met before. Right. Along but, with their significant others. Right. There was like probably a, a handful. Mm -hmm. So being able to like do all of that stuff the first night was so great. I have a ring on my finger. It's, it's, do you have any idea how heavy this thing is? Jeremy literally once an hour brings up something, something ring related. It's so heavy. It just my but hand it's is just less cumbersome than the aura ring, but it's not as heavy. The aura ring is, is it's light. It's, yeah, light. it's, it's yeah, not as sure. heavy as this. Yeah. This thing is a, a hunkin piece of metal. I went to a physio appointment, um, yesterday, literally two days after the wedding. I, I, there's something wrong with my hip flexor. And so I went to go get it looked at now the wedding is done. I also was nervous that they were going to tell me something crazy because I was having a little bit of tingling behind my knee, which wasn't the most, wasn't the, the, the greatest. What did you think it was? Knee cancer? Well, I don't know. I just didn't want them to be like, oh, hold on. pinched you, wait, nerve you wanna, situation. Hold on. You wanted me to be stuck with 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 you? Yo, yeah. With one leg lore? I'm going to be so honest. I wasn't thinking about you at all in this equation. I literally went to make sure that because I had not been a doctor in five years, I didn't have butt cancer. And how do we have the results of the butt, the butt he didn't, he didn't sickness? Call, he didn't call me back. Great. Okay, so, so no butt, butt cancer. Yeah, listen, if I've got something very wrong with me, yeah. it's... It's been it's been too long. Didn't have time to get the hip flexor tingling behind the knee situation checked out beforehand. And um, so anyway, she was asking me to like walk in a straight line so she could um, look at my posture <laughs> or whatever. And um, she was like- Do people know what you stand and walk and-, and Let me finish my story. So I'm walking and she was like, she's like, wow. She's like, this is actually kind of crazy. Like your left arm really doesn't move that much. Um, like it kind of just hangs there like a dead arm and your right arm swings much more. Like that's so weird. And in the back of my mind, I could hear you with me at this point being like, yeah, because that rock is so fat. And that's, that's, that was, uh, that was my physio appointment. That's why my, this is my left arm just like hangs dead by my side. That's how you tie that in? Yeah. Wow. What a callback, babe. Well, because you said your ring is so heavy. It is heavy. My, my ring is so heavy that I have a dead the arm when I walk The left side of my body apparently. is just like now two hey. inches lower than the right. I know. I, um, I, but I like the, I like the ring thing. It's so cute. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm, I'm like excited to have it with me in public. Not that like being married makes you an adult, but it definitely like, I feel like makes Fuck you that. look yes, it like, does. it look like an adult. Yes, it does. I got wife things at home. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This it, is the it, ultimate get yeah. out of party at now. It really is. Like card ever. Yeah. Like, oh, I would love to. My wife will kill me. I have to go home. Feel free to use that as My best. wife will kill me. I have to go home. Feel free. My wife will kill me. I have to go home. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, oh, I would, but, and just hold it up. Yeah. Um, I have used that. I actually used that at the mall when I was shopping for wedding jewelry. Is that a guy was trying to hit on me and he was just being creepy and him and his friend. That's and weird. It's nice to hear this the same time as everybody else does. <laughs> I forgot about it. It wasn't memorable. And, and and he was just like, he's like, hey, mama, you're so beautiful. And I, Oh, no, you go with him. And that's okay. <laughs> That's okay. I hear things like that and I go, you know. And and <laughs> the way that I wordlessly was able to hold up my hand in passing and just point to it. That's hilarious. And just keep also, moving. what a bitchy thing to do. I love it. I mean, he was being quite polite. Hey, mama. It was just like in passing, like he wasn't trying to get me to stop talking. Like I, it would have been ruder for me to just ignore him, I think. Right, that's what I do. Like he wasn't really shooting his shot. He was just kind of giving a passing compliment. Hey, mama. Yeah. That's not even like, one through 100 for me, for things that I could say to somebody. You should not say, hey mama to anyone. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> I, You should not, hey mama. Should someone, hey mama? 
Uh, someone could hey mama, but it's not you. Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm not, I'm not, I'm Are not. Are you feeling left out about the hey mama no, thing? No, I don't want to be left in to the, the hey yeah, mama thing. I just hey want to know what what I would need yeah. to be able to hey mama someone. Yeah, I'm not sure, but it's. It, I don't think that one's in the cards for you. Hmm. So anyways, I did get to wordlessly just use my ring. Wordlessly? As, yeah. As a, <laughs> is, that, is that not a, is no, that not a, a word? No, that's a word now. Is it not that's, a word? It's a word now. <laughs> wordlessly? Uh, show how many times have you thought about using the word wordlessly, but it felt Hang like- Hang on. It, it uh, no, no, no. I'm actually not confident it's not a word. It is just a crazy no. thing to say. No, I'm confident. Not a word. Wordlessly! No. Without the use of words or speech, everyone get fucked. Wordlessly. That's not a word. Yes, it is. It says Based, Miriam. No, say, yeah. It says <laughs> Miriam and Oxford. Yeah, well- Oh. Wow. I want to know how much you're paying Oxford. How do you use wordlessly in a sentence? He wordlessly pulled a camera from his pocket. This you mean, is an real quick, educational Just real quick, real quick. Podcast. You mean he pulled a camera from his pocket? <laughs> no, wordlessly he pulled it. Now say the sentence without wordlessly. <laughs> he pulled the camera from his pocket, but how do you know he wasn't making any sound? You need the, you need the wordlessly to give the context. Words that don't need to exist for $1,000, Bob. I'll take wordlessly. Cambridge says it's a word. Don't. Miriam says it's a word. Oxford <laughs> says it's a word. <laughs> Moving on. So anyways, the welcome party was wonderful and Jeremy is smashing his ring against his champagne glass. <laughs> that just that just feels like trouble. It does, but it's just, it's so, and I keep on grabbing doors and I feel it hit. Yeah. I don't like it. I think I'm gonna break it. I'm not, it's a thick, it's a thick piece of metal. Yeah, it's a thick piece of metal. I think you'll be fine. Um, I get to wear my little wedding band and it's so cute. I love it. I think it was actually Maggie who gave me the advice to think about the wedding band when we were shopping for engagement rings. You said that, yeah. Yeah, because it was it it really did shape the decision to go with a plain gold band so that I could do a full pave band for the wedding band. And I love the way that it looks. I think it looks cute. It's so pretty. I love it. I love it. No wonder I'm broke. That. Well, the, the wedding band was actually shockingly inexpensive. It was, wasn't it less than mine? Y yes, it was. Yes, wow. it was. Well, yes, it was. Love that. Um, okay, shall we wedding bingo and get into the big day? Yes, All right, let's do it. I don't think we're gonna get one of these. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I know that this says wedding day bingo, um, but do any of these count? Um, I'm seeing one specifically that, Happens. I think it's wedding weekend. Me wedding too. weekend. Okay, great, 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 great. So last episode, we put this together. Um, if you wanted to see the context of where some of these came from. And um, today we get to bingo. What do we get if we get bingo? We can stay married. Okay, great. <laughs> what, Wait, do we, what do we don't get bingo? We can stay married. Wow, love the odds of that for us. Um, also, we're not on a honeymoon right now. We literally got married three days ago uh, because the I feel wedding- like Every day is a honeymoon with you. That is so nice. The reality is that we are so over budget that I couldn't even bring myself to think about booking a trip afterwards. And also we just hibernated for three days. Like, I guess you could just like get yourself on a plane and hibernate on a beach for a week afterwards. But genuinely like I loved being home and just rotting on the couch. Same. I loved it. Like I wouldn't have changed anything. I, if I could do it right now, I would. He, and that, and that is, that is it, a truth. I've never had more sleep for this podcast. The amount of people who are like, you're probably on your honeymoon right now. And I was like, no, oh my God, no. I think, I think post honeymoon wedding mistake. Yeah. Take, take a minute. Oh my God. I also think about how much planning goes into the actual wedding and then thinking about planning a trip on top of that. I can't even imagine. So anyway, kudos to you. If you have the mental capacity and energy to go do all of those things back to back, but could not be me. Okay. Diggy peas on florals. No. He didn't even, <laughs> Joe said she saw one Diggy P, but it was in a totally appropriate place. Really? Yeah. That's amazing because Diggy was, Diggy, w w the very first time we did like the walkthrough, yeah. needed to take a, a wild poo. But that's okay. No, he yeah. did it, he did it. And again, a totally appropriate oh, place. We're outdoors. I, I know that's okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so no, so no Diggy peeing on florals. Lauren hugs toilet to pee. That is a, a yes. check. <laughs> Check. X. That is a check. So the hardest thing though about the dress, I thought it was gonna be about having so much fabric behind me with the train and the veil, but it was fully the layers of tool that were the under tool? the under layers of the dress. They call them tool? A T-U-L-L-E is a fabric. Good to know. 
so the layers of tulle on like the underskirt of the dress would get super bunched up around my hips and you could, because it was sheer, you could see all of just like the bunched up tulle. And so I had, it was a two person job recovering from going pee. Cause then Jeremy would have to stick his arm up my dress and pull down all of the layers of the skirt. I was like inside of you. Yeah, so that was the hardest part. Yeah. Um, but I did pee backwards for each and every pee. I think it's I think it's rude that we even thought for a second we were gonna flop our lift on a dance floor. You don't think we flopped our last one a little bit? <laughs> I didn't no, think we did. No, no, you no, don't think? no, not at all. Oh, I, I would I, have I, never known you thought really? that. Really? No. No, I did not think we flopped the last lift. Oh, slay. Pop off queen of dance and lifts. All you had to do was be lifted. I know, but it, we, I just had, because we haven't been able to actually practice in the dress, I had no leg kick leverage to get my. I think you're up. overestimating your contribution to any lift in the first place. Well, the, the first lift, I, I do no part in. I just go, wee. The second one, you don't really do much either. Yeah, but the second one, like, I could do more to help. Like, if I didn't have, like, a, a constricted leg situation down on the bottom. Your lack thereof participation yeah. did not. Did okay, not, great. Did not matter. I can't wait to watch our, it back on the video. Our lift was beautiful. Okay, great. Yeah. Did not flop a lift. You heard it here first. Did not flop a lift. Do you remember the last time, uh, like two episodes ago, three episodes ago? How many, how many episodes ago when, when you were complaining that I fucked off? Do I accident? remember when you disappeared for a whole weekend, two weeks leading up to our wedding? Yes, I do in fact remember that. <laughs> okay, you say a whole weekend. It was two days. It was three. Two. It was Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Mm, yeah, it might have been. Yeah. Yeah, yeah might have been. Might have been, might have been. Might have been. Okay, so in hindsight, how do you feel about that? It was great. Great. So here's what we did. We decided to not be boring. By we, I mean, I decided to not be boring. I was gonna say I had no part in this. <laughs> and do a, little, do a little swap on Lauren's song. Well, I should say our song for our first dance. So we had originally chosen, um, so can't. That's the funny thing. You think that we originally chose. I had to lead you to think that it was your idea. That was always the song that I wanted. I feel like you think you shaped this decision more than you did. Lauren, I don't think you realize how much how much inception work has to go into making you think that something was your okay. idea. Okay, go ahead. Anyway, so we got to the consensus that Can't Help Fall In Love was gonna be our first dance song. Mm -hmm. we, came, we, we came to that consensus. And all along beforehand, I was like, we need to come to this consensus somehow. And I decide, to be a little more fun than just using a song that was kind of cute to us. Cause could you ex describe, or do you remember when you wanted me to sing that very first song for you? Yes, yeah, so the context I feel like for this song specifically is that in the first probably two months of us dating, cause I feel like you gave it to me like December, January. It was for Christmas. Of yeah, of us, of us, literally the first couple months of us dating, Jeremy recorded a version of him singing this song. Uh, uh, you asked me to. Yeah, I was like, can you sing the song for me? You have such a nice voice, you sound like a Disney princess, really, really nice. <laughs> and so anyways, it, it never got shared anywhere. So it, it's literally just like a song that like literally just lives on my phone and it's very special. And literally when I was at the dentist feeling anxious, I listened to it all the time and it's very sweet and you sound so nice. And so anyways, that's always like kind of been like a special song, I feel like. Oddly enough, it's kind of like our only special song. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I hate how that thing sounds. So that'll never do. I should do it again with a group that I know that will make it sound good. So I called the arranger slash director of Voctive, who I sang with years ago. And I was like, would you be interested? He was more than interested. And he put it together in like two weeks time. And so I then decided I should probably fly out of Florida to sing it in time to get back for the wedding, which happened to be three weeks before our wedding, which is, <laughs> you know, in hindsight- it, it was it was two weeks before the wedding. <laughs> okay, so it's two weeks before the wedding. Yeah, sure, whatever. And so in hindsight, probably a little stressful for you, but um, <laughs> I just didn't have any faith in being able to do it without them in the same room as me. And so I flew my ass on down to Florida, mm -hmm. recorded it, flew back, and surprised you what ended up being a few days ahead of time because I was like, I don't think that we're gonna be able to pull off this dance that we had choreographed. Cause was the original idea is that you would just have that played yeah. as our first dance. Oh my God. Yep. Oh God. But I also, the the wild card here and the variable that I was not expecting yeah. was that, and it, it the problem was it was just so much time that I didn't know what to do with it, was that I didn't anticipate us choreographing our first dance. Oh. I don't know anyone who's choreographed their first dance. Right. Not one person. Um, I 
feel really nervous and anxious about being the center of attention, just swaying back and forth for like a minute and a half for a first dance. So the idea of choreographing something to me was like really exciting and something that like gave me a little like sense of comfort. But I think it was a great idea. Yeah. I was not expecting you to choreograph or to want our dance choreographed. Yeah. yeah and so yeah. that was the variable that I was like, okay, well that was, wasn't expecting that one. And so we met in the middle on that one. Right. But it, it ended up being so nice. I think like, I think this is kind of the, the ideal scenario because then we got to listen to it for the first time, just the two of us. And um, like, I, got, I just got to like fully take it in and for like what it was and like how special it was and how, and also like on a great sound system, like we, were just, we literally were just like sitting in your car listening to it in the driveway. It was nice. And I sobbed. You did. Like, imagine how overwhelmed I would have been if that was all happening while also supposed to have been dancing to a choreographed number for our first a dance. Completely different arrangement. And trying to take in the fact that this was you and how beautiful it sounded and also that there was Voctive and piecing together like, oh, maybe this is where you went that one weekend. Like, why is Jeremy singing to this? And it would have been, I would have been so overstimulated and would have fucked up the whole first dance. And this was truly ideal because then it also got to be a surprise that we kind of did together Everybody to present else. to everyone else. Yeah, yeah even though I cute. made sure we didn't say anything about it. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like, some people, a close friends obviously knew yeah. um, because I told them about them because every, obviously like as I was spiraling. Oh, Jordan was like, that was you singing. I was like, that was me. Yeah, my my cousin's uh, wife also knew right away and she's never heard you sing aside from really? like random like YouTube videos, but she knew right away that it was you. Huh. So some people, I guess, um, pieced it together. That. And then my parents in their um, little, let it go. little speech. Yeah, she, my mom like true, that was her opening line was that just want everyone to know that that was Jeremy uh, voicing that track. <sighs> And um, it was it was beautiful. Voctive is so incredibly talented. We have to go to Disney. Um, and what? We're going to Disney. We're going to go to Disney. We are. Yeah. We are. When are they releasing? I haven't been to Disney World. In they so are going to release it. I told Jamie to release it. That's so amazing. That's yeah. so fun. So people haven't gotten anything from you in years. Since the last Since time I was last time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I have a story. Jeremy told me this was happening because we <gasps> had to like be able to reschedule the pod and like way before way even before. we knew the dates. Jeremy's like, by the way, this is gonna happen and it it will interfere with the podcast schedule. And I'm just giving you a warning <laughs> that we're gonna have to figure it out. And luckily it ended up being on the day of the bachelor finale. So Lauren wanted to reschedule oh my and God. literally save the day. But Jeremy did not tell me that he told you three days ahead of time. <laughs> so when I was at the wedding, I was like, damn, Lauren is not really giving the reaction that I think Jeremy was looking for. That's tough. And then when I finally saw Jeremy, I was like, the song was so good, like you killed it. And then he said, oh, I told her three days ago. And I'm like, okay, I that makes to. so much to. more sense. What's funny is like every single person that did was That's aware hysterical. that I was like going to like, you know, fuck off for a couple of days. They're like, so like, what have you told her? I go, nothing. They go, you haven't told her anything? I go, no. I'm like, what do you mean? You haven't told anything? I go, I'll tell her when I have to tell her. <laughs> I told Jeremy I would kill him. I, I was I like, know, I would literally I kill him. I, I really felt seen in the comments where people were like, well, I would have gone batshit. I would have gone absolute batshit. I felt really seen. Thank you so much for everyone that backed me up on that. Um, it was absolutely beautiful. I've listened to it so many times. I could times. take it back if you'd like and, and just pretend it never happened and give you the other version. What do you mean? I'll just take it all I've back. I've already distributed it myself, so. <laughs> <laughs> Stream uh, Jeremy Lewis, uh, Can't okay. Help Falling in Love version. Okay. No, it's so beautiful. So I feel like you, I haven't gotten to hear you sing like, like really give in 110% in like the high range and like your I high notes. I know, notes. I know that's what you wanted. And I by know. God, that was the most stressful fucking part of the whole thing. It was so good. Yeah, no, Jamie. Um, It was so good. He wrote it so that it would ride and just sit on the highest note that I can physically Did sing. Did you tell him what note was your no! highest note? No, so but he knew. knows. Yeah, he knows. He yeah. Know, Jamie. Yeah. You know. He knows, he knows. Yeah, he well, gave me a decent vowel, but beautiful. it was so high. And so, it's one of the hardest things I've ever sang. It was worth it. Good. I think so. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you liked it. No, it was so special. I mean, it was great. I'm, and I, I'm glad that I did it. Yeah. But it was just such a, um, I, I haven't sang in eight years. Yeah. Not eight years. Wait. It might be. It might be eight years. Yeah. I haven't sang in a long time. Uh -huh. And I think retired Jeremy could have used like another day or two of warm up before, but it's all good. It worked. Well, it sounded beautiful. Thanks, and I'm buddy. so excited for everyone else to hear it because it would, it feels like even the first time you sang this just for me and like, I literally just have it saved in like my notes app is, is like the literally the, the note is called Jeremy song. And I just I, it's not, I, I, I got, searched that. I got news for you. I don't own that song. Yeah, but on my note, it's Jeremy's song. Right, it's mine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's actually your song. But uh, yeah, yeah, exactly, that's what I'm saying. 
Um, but this one is so good that it feels selfish to not share with people. Well, it's yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It's gonna get shared. Yeah. Some and also too, like, so a big part of this was that the tempo of this was just a little bit different than the version that we were gonna sing to. And so I think was that Faster, one of the right? that was no slower, much slower. Your version. Is it? Yeah, way slower. Because oh, remember, maybe. remember we were like before we would go into a turn and be like, and you're right. now go. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so being able to practice for the few days after getting the surprise were I Very feel like important. fundamental for not fucking this up on the dance floor. Yeah. I did smack a few people in the face with the train of my dress you on did. the last turn. I knew that. Um, I think Remy was one of them, but. Yeah. Um, I think I believe the word was smack me in the face again. Yeah. Queen. Yeah. Are those lamb tails? Lamb tails? You know lamb tail? <laughs> the cartoon? This is the song that never ends. Lamb chop? That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, that's cinema roll. What? <laughs> That's cinema roll on my slippers. Not not lamb chop. No, that's not lamb chop. Lamb chop has big fuzzy black eyebrows and a red tongue. And is a lamb, that's a puppy. That's a puppy? Cinema roll is a puppy. But we know what lamb chop is though, right? Yes, we know what lamb chop is. Song never ends? I didn't realize that that song was associated with lamb chop, but yes, I do know who lamb chop is. Oh, I think actually, I think I, I yeah, we've had this conversation before, haven't we? Yeah. Okay. I actually have a lamb chop somewhere in my room that, in my parents' no house. One's, no one's been less surprised about anything. Yeah, no, definitely okay. not. All right, got it. Okay, so we did not flop our lift on the dance floor and there's Jeremy's surprise finally revealed. I sang to you, but not live at the wedding. That's so nice. Yeah. That's so nice. Guest is asked to leave. Close. Close, but no nope. cigar. Close, but no cigar. Um, someone crashes the wedding. Nope. The security was so good. Really? They were so good. good. Yeah. Oh my God, wait, that's so great to know. Yeah. That is so- I was so impressed. That is so great to know. So um, obviously because we've shared the location so publicly, like through and vlogs and stuff. And I've said a thousand times when this damn wedding's gonna be. We've been trying so hard and we've had to edit it out from Jeremy so many times on what this freaking wedding was gonna be. But even like with the welcome party, I, I realized- Everybody there. I realized a couple of days before, I was like, oh shit, if we, if people are posting that the welcome party is on Saturday, everyone's obviously gonna know that it's on Sunday and they have the address and technically could potentially show up. And so anyways, I was just a little bit worried about that, but it ended up being totally fine and it was great. Nervous poops didn't even have them. What I would have given for a nervous poop, oh my God. You didn't have one nervous poop? I think I had the nervous consties. <laughs> <laughs> what I would have given for a nervous poop though? Oh my God. Lauren forgets you have choreography. no idea. Didn't forget any of it. You sure? Not at all. Okay. Not at all. You sure? Positive. All right. Positive. We talked through the whole thing. Did we? Yeah. I kind of don't remember. I know you didn't. But I remembered all the choreography. Yeah. Yeah, all of it. Uh, Moose will bamboos. <laughs> Moose will bamboozle himself into eating the wedding food. That is true because Shoshana was the hand that was feeding <laughs> <laughs> I rigged it, I rigged it. <laughs> I'm circling that one off. So one of the highlights of um, the, the wedding, <laughs> well, not necessarily, well, was it a highlight? I can feel like it was a highlight. So the dogs were the ring bearers down the aisle and we opted to have this like beautiful white shiny um, aisle that like went up to a stage. It was also very like shiny and white. Did not think about how potentially slippy the aisle might be. And the dogs took one step on the aisle and I was like, oh fuck, we made a mistake. And I don't think we made a mistake at all. Their little feet were sliding everywhere. <laughs> You know what though? Mia said that it was actually beneficial for her because it slowed them down. It yeah. didn't let them just like sprint down to the front. We had a bit of a, a, a traffic jam getting them off of the stage. We did have a traffic jam big time. Um, one of the leashes got stuck under one of the other dogs and they had to be airlifted from the aisle down to the ground, but it was so cute. I, and by airlifted, I airlifted. <laughs> one of the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was so well, I was cute. like, at some point, one of them's gonna just gonna take a tumble. I One's gonna get a tumble and, and it's tumble. And tumble, exactly. They did so well though. They did. It I mean, was they, they really so did. cute. They did. It was so cute. Diggy didn't even pee on the florals walking down the aisle because there were many an opportunity. And Moose didn't take a chomp at we'll any single flowers. We'll see if my of hand ended up being caught on camera. I feel like everyone was so enthralled with the fact that it was the dogs walking down the aisle. Yeah. One of our friends texted me and he was like, I sobbed the entire time the dogs walked. Really? Sobbed. The dogs? The dogs, not even us, just the dogs, sobbed. Got it, <laughs> got it. <laughs> uh, 
So anyways, it was very cute. They were great. They got to stay for cocktail hour. They did bamboozle a few snacks and then they went home and, and slept also for three days alongside Jeremy. We've got couch. three more days of sleeping. No, one will see us oh. till next week. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah. I'm so glad that we could have you on the podcast today. Well, I've been an exception. I <laughs> got it. Um, we have a wedding guest no show. Almost. 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 Basically. <laughs> we had a couple guests miss the ceremony. Um, but they were there for the reception. So I don't I don't feel as if we get to cross this off on the bingo. <sighs> I don't think we get to cross this up on the bingo. It's close. Yeah. But otherwise, every single person who RSVP'd was there. Yeah. So we had, Jeremy had two really close friends who had family members within their family pass away um, yeah. right before the wedding. Family members within their family? Family members within their family <laughs> who passed away, exactly. Okay. And um, so we did have two people, three people um, have to, well, I guess only two last two. minute. Yeah, yeah, two last two. minute. So that's really not that bad. No. Out of 97 people, not bad at all. They just happened to all be close to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, someone without a plus one shows up with a plus one. Don't believe so? Nobody. Well. Nobody. Reading instructions. I can't believe, two out of 10? That's all we have so far, I can't believe it. I know. The amount of stupid fucking questions that I got texted. Okay, Jeremy cries during the first look. <laughs> rock solid. I wouldn't say you're a rock solid, rock solid, but you didn't cry. Rock solid. Solid is debatable. Rock but solid. A tear did not drop. A tear didn't drop. A tear didn't I drop. Know. Lauren pulls a tissue out of her boobs. Not tissues, but Q tips. Okay. So Your what I learned, titties. I had Q tip titties the entire wedding. Um, so what I learned is that if you get a Q tip into the corner of your eye and lean with the tear duct. In in the right direction and get a Q tip in there, it won't drop and you just soak it up at the root. And so anyways, I am- um, She's actually, walking around like this the whole way. I literally, I was literally just pulling Q-tips out of my boobs the entire time. And I'm sure there's so much footage of it. Hopefully I can make a compilation. Um, but I did have um, at one point 10 Q-tips, five on each side in my chest. And they were kind of just pushing out your, your dress the whole time. Cause I just stared at your nipples the entire time. No, that wasn't a Q-tip problem. That was a, that was a me problem. That was a you problem? That was just a me problem. I will say the, the closest I got to crying was actually before I even saw you. Really? Yeah, when you like called me. What do you mean when, when I you called, called you? to me to turn around? Oh, for the first time. I look. was like, <laughs> I feel like um the the day before the wedding. Oh yeah. You, well, the morning of. Yeah, the morning of. I got all of my crying out between the hours of five thirty a.m. and six thirty a.m. You were really close to crying in the ceremony. There were tears in in the eyeballs that just didn't drop. Shut but up, Joe. <laughs> Shut they up. were moist. Shut up. Shut they up. were so moist. Yeah, I had I had moist eyebrows. Eyebrows. <laughs> did, you, eyelids. did you have I, moist eyelids? I had I had I had hydrated eyes. Which part of, was it during vows or during Nick part? No, no, no. When you were walking down the aisle at the yeah. beginning. Oh, at the beginning. Yeah. 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 No, I was just keeping things hydrated. Yeah, that was nice. That was yeah, because it was windy, you know, just like just watering it eyes. It was windy. Yeah. yeah. So you cried by yourself the morning of though. A lot. <laughs> A lot. Jeremy rewrote his vows the morning of. I looked at those things and I said, this will never do. I said, I won't be able to get, I just started out with too sentimental of a thing. Yeah, sure. And I was like, this has got to go. Cause I can't start the whole thing crying. I loved your vows. I loved them too. I yeah, loved not crying great. the whole time too. Yeah, 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 me too, me too, me too. <laughs> I actually cried more reading my vows for the very, very first time when I read them with Mia and Remy. Yeah. Um, and then I got through them okay during the actual time. Which was which was good because I was really really I I also was just worried about the whole situation from going from the crying during the vows and then having to get a Q tip out of my titties to then what am I gonna do with the dirty Q tip after I wipe my tears do I just whip it into the front yet yeah, row what do you I try do with to it? stick it into my my front pocket yeah yeah after our first look yeah I did, yeah. did try and do that um, like, could you not so since I didn't pull tissues out of my boobs I feel like we don't get that one right True. okay okay and then our free space. Get this one. That's so nice. Um, Jeremy, Jeremy forgets cho choreography. I, that's rude. We would even consider that as an option. Well, I mean, we would have done this jointly last time. You were here when we did this. Play it back. It was literally Jeremy's idea to oh. add it. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm, I'm disappointed in me. We did great, right? We did. Yeah. Um, also did not rain. It was a beautiful day. The one, the one thing is that it did get kind of cold and windy at the end of the night, but I was very glad that we had invested in the heaters that we did. Um, 20. 
20, literally 20, 20 but no rain. no rain. Literally the ceremony temperature was perfect. There was like a moment during the ceremony when I could just like hear the palm trees just bristling in the wind. And I was like, God damn, this is perfect. It, it did feel a little like unreal. It felt unreal. Yeah. It was, it was, the ceremony was perfect. My necklace did fall off in the first 10 seconds of um, being up there. Uh, and yeah, I feel like we could have we fixed that. Yeah, well, we could have fixed it. What do you yeah. mean? There's no way I could have fixed it. Yeah, but then I would have had been fiddling it with the back and it has to like click and my hair was there, the veil was there, the dress is heavy. So anyways, I, it's this fucking, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to out the company, but they're like a company that literally their sole product is making this magnetic clasp that you can attach multiple necklaces to, so they don't get tangled. And so, like in theory, it's a great product because then also too, because it's a little bit heavy, it stays at the back of your neck and doesn't turn. So it was like dual purpose because everyone always says like use eyelash glue to like like kind of glue the back of your necklace to your neck, which to like your I, neck, yeah, which I wasn't interested in doing. Ew, gross. Yeah. So anyways, I was like, oh, this would be like the perfect perfect situation first 10 seconds of the fucking ceremony, I feel something in between my boobs and I'm like, oh my God, a Q-tip has gone rogue. A titty, a titty Q-tip has gone completely rogue. And so I went to go like move it or adjust it or take it out. And I was like, oh, that's my necklace sitting in my tits right now. And so I just like ripped it out and tossed it to my dad in the front row. And anyways, it was a little bit dramatic, but it was totally fine. Rolling with the punches and it was it was totally okay. Yeah. It was totally okay. I, it was a little, I, yeah, I felt more panicked for you than I think than you Well, did. cause you watched it happen. I was like, oh God. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> I mean, I've seen so many videos of brides like losing their veil in the wind halfway through too. And so luckily it was like the perfect amount of windy where that wasn't an issue, but I did lose my necklace in the first 10 seconds. I don't think any guests ate shit. I didn't see anyone eat shit. The dogs almost were slipping and sliding, but I don't think they They're like family. necessarily fell. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think we're good. Jeremy cries during the ceremony. No. Okay. I didn't. Okay. Wait, hold on. Do you think I did? No, no. Okay. No. So what is this? Well, I, if, if I, I feel like I couldn't see your face as I was walking down the aisle because I was too far away. So that's the only part where I was like- What were you looking we? at? What? What were you looking at? Listen. It's a sensitive topic that I couldn't have gotten LASIK in preparation <laughs> for this ceremony. Okay, so. You're blind, I guess. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, Lauren's dad, Greg, Greg cried. Oh yeah, my dad cried for Greg sure. Cried. Yep. My dad cried for him. sure. We got him. I know. He cried during the first look. I'm looking at what would have been a bingo right now. I know, I know. <laughs> so close, so close, so close, so close. Okay, um, unsolicited speech toast. Um, my cousin definitely did a little bit of a screaming toast situation the first night. Yeah, he did. Yep, yep, so that one, that one. Yeah, we can check that. Yeah, we can check that one for sure. One of those ones where it's like, you're fighting all of the sound systems and no one can really hear you. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, he was quite loud. He, he, I feel like, I feel like he, uh, he did it. I'm, I'm gonna need you to apologize for this next one. I was wrong. Go ahead, tell the people. I was wrong, I was wrong. Crypto Craig um, was the MC and he was incredible. He was incredible. So we've done an episode Lauren of Lauren comes Craig. to me yesterday, the night before the wedding. What did you say to me? I said, Jeremy? I don't think, and Marnie doesn't think. I don't know, I don't know if Craig should MC because he's gotta know the run of show. He's gotta know everything. And I mean, at the end of the day, I was like, if you want Craig to MC, I was like, I need you to run point on this and oversee all this. Cause I am at, I'm, a, I'm, I'm mental, I'm mentally full. I'm at capacity. I can't take on one more thing logistically. Yep. So if you want to do this, I trust you go forth and go do, but I cannot take this on. And you said, okay, I will. And it was great. And I'm so glad that you did. I'm so glad you took that on because he was incredible. Yeah. That man, if, if whatever his job is now doesn't work out, he should be a professional wedding MC because he killed it. Crypto Craig? Crypto Craig. Okay, great. So we, we crossed this one off. Yeah, for sure. Okay. You, I, when you came to me and said you didn't want this, I go, you're being ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> he was so you good. Must, are you hungry or tired? Because this is the worst decision you ever made. He literally was built for it. He, he was. was. He was amazing. He was amazing. Family member puts foot in mouth. Mm. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Well, I feel like we, we can could, leave it there. We could dabble on both sides. We can leave it yeah. there. <laughs> Oh, a little hard on that one. A uh, couple gets into a fight. I didn't see anyone get into a fight. There are a few people who left early for unidentified reasons. Yeah, we as can't of speculate. Right now, but I can't speculate. Yeah. So I, I think I, we just gave them that good of a time before I 10 p.m. I personally didn't see anyone get into a fight. Not a fight. Yeah. Uh, Lauren and Jeremy did well, not- we can skip over this one. Have sex on their wedding. 
<laughs> you guys, when I tell you that I was in so much fucking pain by the end of the night, I was unwell. So again, having the little hip flexor issue, like that was a situation. I think I could have rallied. I, I think that you could have rallied as well too. <laughs> It was me. It was fully me. It was fully me. I was in so much pain. My dress had been like cutting up my underarms for like eight hours. Like I was basically bleeding. I was so, I was so busted up. My feet, I've been in heels for 12 hours. I was in so much pain. I was in so much pain. And again, we've talked about this on the Dr. Mike episode. I have that 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 weird medical condition where when the cold wind goes past my ears, <laughs> it hurts the back of my throat slash like ear tunnels. You have that weird tunnels. made up medical condition. Are you gaslighting me? No. Are you medically gaslighting no, me right now? No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. So anyways, it's I, a thing. I had I had that and then I also was just in so much pain everywhere else. And I was I was not, literally the next day, again, still in so much pain. Jim was like, I oh, mean, I feel great. I could do, I could do, I could run that I again. Felt, I felt better then than I did now. Yeah. Oh my God. I literally woke up and I was like, I cannot walk. <laughs> you did feel, I, but also there was a, you were being prodded the whole day. I was being prodded the whole day. Poked, yes. prodded yeah. and placed. And like, it's just, yeah, everything tight, corset, not being able to breathe, in heels, things are tight, wearing Spanx, like the whole situation. Mine could have been tighter. Yeah, what's that like? Shoes could have been more, shoes, shoes could have had more, been more. I had a little, little heel in mine, had a little boot. Had a little heel in yours, that's crazy. I mean, it was flat. That's crazy. And pretty pretty comfy for all intents and purposes. <laughs> anyway, uh, and then by the guest, has their phone out taking a picture or video during the ceremony? I don't believe so. I don't think anyone did. It was so nice. Yeah, it was great. Oh, I just love when people listen. listen. So nice. <laughs> My kink is listening. <laughs> just really love when people listen. Uh, guest, guest on, on guest, guest hookup. Hook no, not that we know I don't of. think so. Not not anyone who's not already together. But there was a group of my friends that did go out. Afterwards, yeah. I love that for them. Man, we were so close to bingo. We were one, so honestly. One if, short. If I wasn't here to correct you, you would have said that we bingoed. Yeah, I mean, listen, the last, the, I, I felt like a flop. Wait, wait, um, say which one you're missing. Yeah. Okay, so we're missing, we flop a lift in our, in our dance, but we also have Mushul bamboozle, bamboozle himself into eating the wedding food, the free space, Lauren's dad cries, Lauren and Jeremy do not have sex on the wedding night. <laughs> we also wait. we also got Lauren hugs toilet to pee, unsolicited speech slash toast, Crypto Craig is the MC, and family member puts foot in mouth. I just felt like a flop on that last lift because I couldn't give as much momentum as I did when we were practicing. But fortunately, you didn't need it. You compensated, yeah. You're so right. Man, we were so close you to You were light as go. a feather. I just lifted you on up. There was, there was, we did a little practice recording and I was like, babe, you're making me look like I weigh a, like a two bajillion pounds and I need you to pick it up. <laughs> and when I say pick it up, I mean pick me up and make it look easy. It was easy. <laughs> and literally after we watched that video back and I said that, a pro, a professional. I, I, I remembered how light you were, and it was easy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I honestly, I didn't feel like your dress was that heavy. Like I didn't like feel like a noticeable difference. Oh God, I can't decide what that says about me because the dress was incredibly heavy. <laughs> no, it didn't. It, it was really probably didn't. just adrenaline. Uh, yeah, uh, I was just excited to be married to you, babe. Yeah, I know. So it's my most important performance in my life. Um, it was so good. I can't wait to watch everything back. I think we get our teaser video this week. Really? So before this this podcast goes up, we'll have posted a little teaser. I think it's just like a vertical little short. Yeah. Um, but we'll get the little teaser. We've That's got exciting. a lot of our photos already. They're on Instagram. It's very nice. It was nice. Like I, it, it really does feel good to be like, I would not change a thing. Jeremy, um, in the nicest way said to me that he, that the, the planning that I put into this wedding exceeded the expectations that he had. The, the preface that you made makes it feel like there was something I could have said better, but yeah. Well, <laughs> it was, you know, a compliment and not at the same time. I think I have very high <laughs> expectations for you. Yeah. And you somehow found a way to exceed them. What did you think was better than you expected? Everything. Yeah? Yeah. It, uh, the, the, the cohesive nature of the event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The photo booth you saw for the very first time. So we had the lounge booth come. And that was the only thing I saw for the first time. Yes, <laughs> yes. Did you like the big arches? Love the arches. The arches were so great Which on the arches? stage with the DJ. 
Yes, those. Those, those were great. so good. Oh my God. Thank so you good. so much. I have photos of them on my phone and I'm like, wow, this was such a good touch. Oh my God. Thank you so much. I'm going to be honest. I saw, I took inspo from someone else who had um, had something similar at the same venue. And I was like, wow, that's such a fun, like easy backdrop to go behind the DJ. And the twinkle tent. The fucking twinkle tent was worth every dollar. I got to be honest. I think back to how much that costs and I go, what? But pretty cool. You know what else was really nice? Little touch. The semicircle bar. <gasps> Thank you so I much. I was like, this is luxurious. The bar was so cute. Did we build that or rent it? Rented it. Got it. Yeah, rented it. Yeah. Yeah, the bar was really, really cute. It was like this beautiful blue and it was a semicircle and um, it was- it's so quite nice. Actually, I think it was a full circle. Because I think I think what it came down to is that it was the same price whether we got the semicircle half of it or the full thing. Get us the full. And I was like, I mean, listen, we've got space for it. Might as well just do the full thing. Might as well do full circle. Yeah, might as well do the full, full circle. circle. The um the other thing that did we did have a little snafu on is that when we had, went to go cut the cake, there wasn't like a really easy spot to do like a nice Chunky. photo slice. So we kind of just like we literally pulled a pile of crumbs from the first tier onto a plate <laughs> and like took a few bites of it, but it was rough. By that time of the night though, it was time to have fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the trick to that- And like, Lauren was late for every single thing, so. Oh my God. Everything just goes by so fast. Lauren was late for everything, everything. I was only 15 minutes behind. For everything. Literally 15 minutes for everything. the schedule. Marnie tried to kill you. It's not my fault. What it was fine. Mean? Everyone was having a great time. We were having such a good time. I mean, yeah, it was fine. Yeah, what do you, I, I don't know what I would have done differently. I was literally herded to different places. Like I, I was I was completely and entirely not in control like, of my was, schedule. No, you weren't. And everybody else around you was like, one more picture here, one more picture here, one yeah. more this, one more this. I, was like, I don't know what that. you want from me. I was the older person sitting there hearing that we were late and that we needed to go. Also, I love how the, I did just X's on mine. You did these cute little hearts for yours. You did X's? Yeah. <laughs> So, so violent. <laughs> Babe, you don't want to see my heart. It looks like a, a, a deformed butt. Okay. Well, anyways. Yeah. Um, but the photos are all beautiful. Our photographer, I'm so happy with how everything turned out. It's I'm glad the research I beautiful. did for our proposal photographers paid off. I really did. They were such you professionals. You should have seen some of the not so good options. Yeah. Well, I mean, trust me, I looked at so many video options that were just awful and so overpriced. Awful. Bad. It's crazy. Expensive does not it's make it good crazy. either. Crazy. Expensive does not make it good. Expensive does not make it no. good. No. And the vibe is, of of people who are in positions of, of power, which a photographer is. Yeah. So important. So important. Our photographer was the MVP. Obviously, our planner was the MVP of the day. The backbone and literally like the 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 beating heart of but the their, entire production. Their work, oddly enough, although so important, mm -hmm. it is mostly, I feel like equated to like, hey, did did you forget anything? Or did, were there any moments of just like things fell apart? Yeah, yeah. Even though like, obviously they were a part of so many one like little things, they don't get the credit I feel like for all those things. Whereas photographer- Oh my God, no, I, right. I personally with, the, with, the, with Marnie, our planner at Sospin, literally I was like, oh my God, like that she made this come to life. Totally. I totally appreciate that. But the photographer, you're right, is like very much like the real time executor of like the flow of the day. Yeah. Yeah, um, and I was like, their pictures get seen. What do you like, mean? They get to take a picture of everybody else's hard work. Right. My point is, they didn't do the <laughs> tables. They didn't do the lighting. They didn't do the this. They, they didn't do any of those things. Yeah. But they get in. They come to like take a picture. Like at the end, they get to like capture it all. Uh huh. Which is like it kind of like everything gets put back to them. And it's like, oh, these are great shots. These are amazing. But like, if the location wasn't good. Oh yeah. And the choices weren't good. Sure. They'd only be photo Like they'd only be able to like capture moments that were like. Yeah. At, yeah, at best. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, sure, huh? Sure, sure. sure. Yeah, um, I have sure. I have two more details to call out. I yes. think the listeners will enjoy them. <gasps> okay, wait. One, the cocktail hour napkins. <gasps> oh my oh God. Oh my God. They had holographic moose and diggies on them. I was gonna say, and remind me again. <gasps> and they said drinks on us. Don't worry, I have a photo. I'll oh, put it in. So <laughs> Don't God. worry. Oh, I drinks know. on us, that's cute. It's and they were at cute. the cocktail hour. It was so cute. It was like, they were hosting yeah. it. They were hosting they it. Were in the cocktail hour. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Wow, wow. diggy. Yeah. Yeah, no, That's yeah. so nice. They, they really, they, they pulled out all the stops. That was great. And then we had them as the little cake toppers, um, which is very, very cute. What else? What was Wait, it? Wait, my something? second one yeah. is the string quartet 
who mm. was that Jeremy's orchestration? Like where'd we find them? No. Who are um, they? Because no. I kind of remember having a vague conversation about like Jeremy being involved in that process. So potentially. the first string quartet that we listened to because our planner sent us like a handful of options. Mm -hmm. One of the ones that we were potentially going with. Dog shit. <laughs> okay, because these girls killed amazing. it. They were so good. They, they were, were so amazing, good. But, amazing, you guys, amazing. They were so good the whole time, but pre-ceremony when yep. everyone was just waiting, uh -huh. they were playing the whole time. They were playing banger after banger. They were <gasps> so good. They oh really God. like oh good. set the vibe for the whole evening, I feel. <laughs> and it was so cool. They were so good. They, it's um, so funny because there's so yeah. many parts of the wedding that we were just like totally not there for. Yeah, were, like, I hidden absolutely away. heard that. Absolutely, absolutely. Because I was down there. Oh, that's right. You were a, a little more, more down were, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, agreed show. I think they were fucking amazing. And when I tell you that we almost wound up with a group that I think would have been Awful. garbage. It was crazy. Their whole portfolio online sounded like ass. And so we were like, this is a red flag that someone in their musical situation is not noticing that this right. sounds like shit. Like it was so, but oddly enough, like the, the stuff we had heard from them two years prior wasn't all that bad. Yeah. And the recent stuff was, was getting so bad. real bad. And then it was the stuff that they were choosing to showcase that we yes. were like, oh, this is a red flag. Yeah, bad. And so we went with a company called Downbeat. Downbeat got everything right. They were so great. They were great. They were so great. Cause they also like provided some of the equipment for like our DJ. Mm -hmm. uh, it was amazing. Like nailed it. Yeah. You could tell like they, they loved what they do. And they did a great and job. And they're good at it. Totally. Yes. Totally. Yes. One of the things that I was totally unaware about that I didn't think about until the next day was we did um, the audio phone book instead of doing just like the traditional written guest book. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, fuck. I wonder if that, if people even left messages, but then people following up in the next couple of days after the wedding were like, can't wait if you listen to my message, left you a sober one and a drunk one. So I can't wait to hear that. Is that the way in? That was, yeah, that was in the just like pre-ceremony pre area. And then it was also at cocktail hour. What's funny is like, I feel like as the groom, because it's not like wildly obvious, even though I'm in a black suit, uh -huh. that it's me. Uh -huh. I feel like I would constantly like show up to something and I'd be like waiting for something. And they'd be like, oh, that's the groom. And they'd be like, oh, got it. Yeah, come on over this way. Uh, and so the amount of things that I was like, I got to like see, because before they realized that I was supposed to like- Not be there. Not yeah. be standing there. Yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, and they were like, okay, yeah. Wait, oh God, that's the groom. Oh my, yeah, please come with me. Come with me, come with me. Like, And then like they would move me to something else. But the amount of times I would like get out of the car and like be unloading my own shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It was funny because like, I got to see a little more like the inner workings of things. Totally. Yeah. I got to be there during all of the setup of like the twinkle tent, the oh, photo yeah. booth and all the tables and stuff. And it looked so good. It was like kind of dope watching all come together. Oh my God. I got so much great vlog footage of yeah. like what the before looked like. Yeah. Cause I showed, up, space. I showed up when Jared got there. Okay. And like when he started like putting on some like music or whatever. And I was yeah. like, it's gonna, this be is good. gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I know. I know. No, everything turned out so good. Genuinely, there was not like it was. It was a perfect weekend. It was a perfect weekend. We did it, babe. We did it. We're married. I, I'm married. I'm trying to think of what else there is to talk about because there, I feel like so much happened and it was such a long day. But like, it it just went by so fast. And that's like the one thing that everyone says is that it just absolutely flies by. The the best thing that I did for myself mm -hmm. was the moment I got there. Threw my phone in the dressing room. Yeah. Left it there. That's great. Didn't look at it. That's great. Best decision. Um, oh my God, I have a good callback. Okay, remember when you guys were going to pick tables out and we were talking about napkin knot versus napkin yes. rings? Yes. Okay, my friend uh, who came as my plus one, she's getting married in 2025. Oh, fun. And so she's like, you know, really looking around. Yeah, for Taking, taking notes and yep, stuff. Yep, And the first thing she says when we get uh, in the Uber home, she's like taking notes and she's like, that napkin knot was perfect. <laughs> and I'm like, Lauren is going to be thrilled that, that somebody noticed. <laughs> I really am, truly, because there was like a little mini flower and a little mini and a little fern. Greeny, oh, a little, it was so yeah, a little cute! Fern in the napkin. I have a picture. Don't worry. Oh my god. Oh god. Guys, the, the table. It was a napkin. The table and the, setting. The, the flowers on the butter plate. The little tiny flowers Thank you on the butter plate. So much. Those are the hand painted <laughs> bread and butter plates from Italy. Remember? Those were so How good. Could I they were so cute. How could I forget? Those babe? were so cute. I got to be honest. For every guy who might be listening to this. They were all adorable. They were all cute. You wouldn't have noticed a single fucking thing, but it was adorable. The table setting was stunning. I was so happy with it. I will it. say the tables came together in the in in the environment for me. Because hmm. when I was 
when we were in the middle of Burbank looking at table settings, I thought to myself. You didn't see it? I, I thought to myself, and I'm going to say this now because I was wrong. <gasps> I go, maybe she doesn't have that good a taste. I don't know. <gasps> maybe. I doubted you. I doubted you. Did oh, I, by the way, my God. Did I say shit? No. And were you wrong? Yes. Okay, And good. were you right most importantly? Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. In the same way that I started my vows. I was just about to say, what a call back to the vows. The very first thing I said, what did I say? You were right. I said, I'm going to share with you the first three, the first and the most important three words I'll ever share with you. You were right. And I can't wait to replay that as my ringtone for the rest <laughs> of our relationship. You know, like have like a, 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 like a remix to it? Yeah, just, just on a, just on re- <laughs> You were right. You were right. You were right. You yeah, were that'll right. actually be our new theme song. Yeah. Na, 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 na. You were right. I can't wait. That's perfect. Yeah. Um, We've been eating wedding cake just with a fork, digging out the middle of the cake <laughs> in the fridge the last three days. There's it's been nothing, wonderful. There's nothing glamorous about post-wedding life. No. 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 You have yet to consummate said marriage. <laughs> When I tell you that Jeremy has legitimately been sleeping 22 hours a day. I, I, what's funny is I keep on having these really nice wedding dreams. That's great. It sounds so corny. I, I, I feel great about how the day went. <laughs> Same. No, I do. Same. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I, I like, would I also, not have changed a thing. I also, and we talked about this about like how people don't sleep together the night before. Okay. No, no, no. Let's talk about that. Yeah. That's a mistake. That's a mistake, I think. And but when I say sleep together, I mean sleep. Like literally in the same bed, sleep. slumbering. Sleep. Catching Z's. You, you, your great aunt could be in the room with you. She wouldn't find that yeah. inappropriate. She would say, you guys are catching some good Z's. The thought of waking up without you, mm-hmm. not seeing you, not being able to talk to you. Yeah. Makes it feel like there was such a, 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 a sense of calm knowing that we were leaving somewhat together yeah, and would see each other together there to, right. to do this together. Yeah, that's how I also feel. But it also felt like us presenting it for our friends and family versus like me and you separately. Yeah. And I, I can't describe it any clearer. And I know that's not all that clear, but like there's something about not feeling like there was any surprises for you and for you and me. It's like mm-hmm. we were we, we were on the same page. Mm-hmm. So worth it. Totally agree. That's also how I feel about going into the ceremony after having already done our first look and getting a little bit of those like pre-ceremony jitters out of like seeing yeah. you. I feel like I like very much grounded me before going into the ceremony. Same you grounded well me. Yeah. And like, not that there's not like, oh, but like you're missing them. All. Totally. There's, there is an opportunity for you to cry that you missed. But unless you really want that to happen. Yeah. Like I just seen your parents even for a minute before I left the house. Right. That was so nice. Right, 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 right. That right. was it, it. It doesn't need to all happen in that moment. Yeah, that's that's what I that's how I feel too. Is that like like you crying because you're so overwhelmed because you haven't seen me in 24 hours? Like that doesn't define a marriage for me, no. or, or like it doesn't define how much you love me. It doesn't. Yeah. And being able to do it, what felt like together, mm. was worth. Everything. Yeah, totally agree. Totally agree. Um, I also it would <laughs> imagine if we had to be like, hey, well, who's not going to sleep in the bed? And who's going to sleep in the guest bedroom and get an ass sleep? I would have been sleeping in the guest bedroom. And who's going to wake up with pink eye because Diggo's butthole just stays <laughs> on those pillows over there? Latvia, with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to go sleep for another two days. Yeah, I feel like. Um, I mean, it was essentially four days of celebrating. Yeah. It was essentially four days. Like between friends coming in, we had a few friends come through just to like to our house for like drinks or whatever. Um, the days leading up to it. You and have my extended then family? My, all your extended family. Babe, it's done. It's done. You, you're- I'm I, a Lewis. I, I could have said it by myself. I'm a Lewis. We got to figure out what your middle name is going to be. I'm gonna, I know, we just realized today watching TV, Jeremy's like, what, what's your middle name going to be? I, I don't like, think you should oh, give up the Kobayashi. Wait, you're going to get rid of your middle name? Well- I, hey, so, hey, chill, chill, so chill. like what my mom did is that my mom made her maiden name, her middle name, oh, and okay. then took my dad's last name. What do you think you should do? And so then I could go Lauren Riyamaki Lewis and Riyamaki becomes my middle name. But I, think you should keep, I think you should keep Kobayashi. Yeah. I think hy- hyphenating might be a little bit. 
Hyphenating is, is out of the question. That's too much. You have a lot That's of syllables. too much. It's too Listen, much. I gave you a yeah. gift. The gift is two. And the gift two is syllables. Two, two syllables. And it's really nice. And being middle in the alphabet, that is the other wonderful gift. I, I'm, I, I aim to please. Yeah. So anyways, I don't have to think about any of this until my immigration shit is sorted and I go from a work visa or to a marriage visa, et cetera, et cetera, and all that stuff. So we can cross that bridge when we get there. But we did it. We're married. And let us know if there are any other things that we forgot to talk about, because I'm yeah. sure there are. Or anything's like, now that we're, now that we've only know how things went and how much things cost, if you have any questions that are, God. are just cut to the core, but also just like, like let's just talk about it. I feel, I've never felt more, um, uh, well, I'll never be more aware of the wedding industry than I am right now. But also like, there are certain things that I'm like, would pay for again. Yeah. There are very few things actually. I, there was nothing that we paid things. for. Yeah, that I was like, I wish we had paid less for, or I didn't feel like it was worth it. Food was great. Drinks were great. Transportation. Like, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, there's, there's, I could, I could stack rank things. Definitely. I could stack rank, but like, I don't feel like we wasted money on no, any one part. I totally agree. Which is agree. probably the biggest gift of all. Yeah, truly. Outside of us. Yeah. Well said, babe. Yeah. Well said. I mean, as as I've said before, Lafia, I love you. As I'll say again, Lafia. Thank you for hanging out with this week and everybody else who's not in Lafia for this Lafian podcast. Okay. And on that note, we will see you next week. But we did it. We did it. We're married. You should get excited. I'm excited. Let's do the podcast now. Okay. Oh, is it time to start now? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Great, 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 great. I love you. Okay, bye. I like you. You say bye? Yeah. Why, why bye? Because you have to go back to sleep for another, I, you have to go back into your hibernation state. You're right. I'll yeah, see you guys next yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Bye. bye.